Cancer, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. And uh, for my subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. This is a new reading that I felt compelled to do for you guys prior to my regular romance reading. Um, I'm going to start off this video with intuitive messages from the angels um, as I hear them and feel them. And then we're going to pull some cards from each deck here and see what messages I can pull from them, okay? So no particular time frame, guys, for this reading. Um, it's whenever you hear it, whenever you feel compelled to watch this, um, and it resonates with you, that's when you're meant to hear it. All right, guys, so for my cross watchers, um, if anything resonates with you or whoever's just been guided to watch this, um, whatever resonates absolutely is meant for you. All right, guys, so let me um, still my mind and focus on your energies cancer and let me see what messages the angels have for you at this time okay. angels for cancer what messages do you have well I'm hearing that the Lord is blessing this particular reading there are those of you out there who really need to hear these messages and they feel that those who need to hear it are intuitively guided to watch this at this time. Some of you recently had children and those children are blessed to be entering this world at this time. I'm feeling that some of you guys had pregnancies that were difficult and you weren't sure if the baby was going to be born healthy. And the angels are affirming that they were watching out for you. And they were with you at the time of your birth, of your baby's birth, and that everything will be fine. I'm feeling some of you guys who just recently graduated either from high school or college that there are jobs that are going to be lining up for you that will actually be lifelong careers for you. So that's fantastic, Cancer. I'm also receiving messages that some of you guys who've been in a relationship for a while and you've really been wondering the direction that your relationship is going you are not sure whether or not you're headed towards that lifelong long-term type commitment and it absolutely is coming for you the angels have come through with a message that an engagement is coming forth for some of you so have some patience it's in the works and i feel cancer that some of you guys have just recently purchased an engagement ring and or the person that you are in a relationship with just purchased an engagement ring. I see a Halloween party and an engagement. So perhaps someone is going to be going to a Halloween party and that's where the engagement will happen. But I'm feeling for some cancers, um, an engagement ring has just been purchased. How exciting. They told me that the color pink is prominent for someone. Someone just fixed up their nursery in pink expecting a baby girl. And also there's a wedding where your color scheme is pink. There's a lot of happy energy coming through for cancer at this time. And they're also showing me a zero balance. So I'm feeling some of you guys are debt free or just recently became debt free. So that's awesome and work hard to stay that way. 
Also, promotions coming up for some cancers, long awaited. Okay, that's it. Those are the messages that the angels have shared with me. So let me go ahead and pull some cards, guys. Um, the reading that I did for Libra, although I received such awesome messages, my settings for my video was so completely off that the cards I was showing weren't even barely showing up on the screen. So I'm really going to work hard to not have that happen for you guys. I'm so sorry, Libra, if you're watching this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, Cancer, on your cards. All right, so let's pull some Romance Angels. So angels, please bring forth your message for Cancer at this time. No time frame, guys. Whenever you're guided to watch this is when it's meant to come through. What messages can you share for Cancer, Romance Angels? Please bring your message forward. Okay. All right, guys, let's see what the angels have for you in romance. Okay. Well, we're starting off with give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, next card, religious factors. I really pray this you guys can see this religious factors okay and the bottom of the deck release your ex guys release your ex okay so the messages coming through here is that some of you guys really have not let go of a previous relationship that you were in i'm feeling that you're still reeling from the pain of that connection cancer okay release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy, okay? You've really been fighting it, I, I'm feeling, because you had such a great connection with this individual, but in order for you to move forward and be happy in other connections you're making or are about to make, Cancer, you need to really release that individual. I'm, I'm feeling that you feel or felt that you were on a spiritual path with this individual, your ex, Okay, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. But regardless of whatever spiritual path you felt you were on with your ex, that time has come to an end. Um, I also feel that you're, you're praying for them to come back, Cancer. Because you really want a second chance with them. Okay, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. But that has to be a two-way street, and I'm not feeling those energies from your ex. They've moved on, possibly um, in another relationship by now. But some of you guys who are, this is coming through for, um, you're really stuck. Okay, so the angels are coming through here to let you know that other better relationships want to come in for you. Okay, someone that you will be on a stronger spiritual path with. But you really need to release your ex, Cancer. Let them go. It's time. Let them go. All right. So let me rearrange this because these are my two healing decks here. Um, so let's go ahead and pull some healing messages for you guys. The first deck will be from Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael, please bring forth your healing messages for Cancer. This deck usually focuses on physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. So let's see what Archangel Raphael has for Cancer at this time. All right, for Cancer, please bring it forward. Healing messages. Okay, we have a couple of them coming through here, guys. So we have second opinion okay some of you guys need to get a second opinion from a second doctor okay leave a stressful situation behind guys you see that leave a stressful situation behind so i'm still really picking up off of the energies of the x i'm feeling you got to release that x that's what's causing some of the stress here um so this card states 
that Archangel Raphael is here to help you release that stressful situation. So let's say a prayer in, in regard to these issues. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving those who need to hear this message the courage and willingness to take good care of themselves, including surrounding themselves with healthy relationships and positive situations. All right, guys. So especially those of you still wanting that ex to come back, there's something so much better for you. So leave them behind. It's time to move on. And those of you going through uh, medical issues, guys, and you're not quite sure about the diagnosis, perhaps. All right. Or you just don't feel right about it. Get that second opinion. Okay. So dear God and Archangel Raphael, guide those who need to hear this to the best healthcare professionals for their health issue, for their situation. All right. The bottom card too, guys, is divine intervention. Divine intervention. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with those who need to hear this message and for helping them with their situation in regard to whatever intervention they need at this time. Please give them the faith and divine intervention and have them fully accept your guidance at this time. I'm feeling for some of you guys that there are addictions towards alcohol and drugs and or both. Um, for some of you guys, it's an addiction towards food and it's been causing um, issues uh, in your physical body. Okay. Um, I'm feeling some of you guys may have been dealing for a long time with morbid obesity and that um, that needs to be addressed. Absolutely. So Archangel Raphael is here to help you deal with those, um, those issues. And that you have family and friends who are there to help and support you in regard to this. All right. Let's pull some additional healing messages for cancer. All right. Angels, please bring forth additional healing messages for my cancers. Healing messages for cancer. some flyers here guys all right we're starting off with children okay I hope you guys can see this children followed by self-acceptance third card coming through here is trust and check it out guys the bottom card is soulmate you see that your soulmate wants to come in for you. And or I'm feeling some of you guys are really missing your soulmate. Okay. Um, okay. I'm, I'm really feeling that the children that I had mentioned with the intuitive messages that some of you guys have really had a rough time conceiving your children and that the children that were just recently born, I'm feeling, were really truly a blessing. And those of you who are anticipating a birth, that it's been a long time coming. But your children are here to bless this reading, all right? Their presence is very healing for you, and you've waited a very long time for them to come. But they're here, or they will be here soon, okay? For those of you in need of the divine intervention that I had just mentioned, um, and needing a second opinion on a health issue, okay? It also helps for you to, to accept who you are, okay? For those of you who have had um, weight issues especially, it's very important for you to love yourself regardless of whatever weight you are. Your weight issues do not define you, okay? Your health issues do not define you. So you need to love and accept yourself for who you are, okay? Because who you are is a wonderful individual, a wonderful loving soul, 
and you absolutely deserve all the best in, in life, okay? So come from a place of love and, and uh, don't stand in front of the, the mirror nitpicking yourself, all right? That's not bringing forth good energy. You absolutely have to look at yourself from loving eyes, okay? Self-acceptance. Now, the trust card is here. So I am feeling that those of you who were in the ex relationship really had a lot of trust issues in regard to that connection. I am feeling that possibly some of you guys had a third party situation going on and that trust was broken, okay? And so it's been very difficult for you to come forward in new relationships to trust fully in those connections. But I'm telling you guys, your soulmate your soulmate is coming for you if that individual hasn't come already, okay? And they will be there to restore the trust in your heart. And interestingly enough, guys, the bottom card is forgiveness. So if this ex, if some of you guys are wanting your ex to come back simply for closure in order for you to move forward with your soulmate, guys, okay? Some of you guys are wanting forgiveness. Some of you guys are wanting an apology and it may or may never come, okay? So you need to be able to forgive the situation. You need to be able to forgive yourself. You need to be able to forgive your ex or anyone else that has hurt you in the situation, all right? Because once you do that, and once you learn to trust in that whatever is meant for you, whatever good things are meant for you will be coming, your soulmate will be one of those good things. All right, Cancer? So really really good messages coming forth here so far okay so now let's go ahead and pull some tarot messages from spirit spirit please bring forth your message for cancer at this time what messages do you have for cancer Sometimes I swear my cards just stick. Stick together. Don't cooperate. Spirit, please bring forth your message for Cancer. There we go. Okay. Well, we have financial and material changes, guys. So usually when this card comes through i'm definitely feeling some of you guys are going through financial struggles i'm feeling some of you guys may have been laid off recently and or lost a job or have been fired from a job okay financial and material changes definitely being acknowledged here now the bottom card here is disruption which in the traditional tarot deck is the tower okay so it's definitely representing some sort of change that wants to come through here, okay? Um, the tower doesn't just come in for any reason. It definitely comes in for a purpose, all right? And it's a sudden, unforeseen disruption, guys. Major changes are happening, okay? Negative experience can lead to enlightenment. So the negative experience we're talking about for some of you guys may possibly have been losing your job or being laid off, okay? And that you're really feeling the ramifications of financial struggles right now. But it's a total, it, it represents a total shift in lifestyle, guys, okay? It's an opportunity to rebuild with a solid positive structure, okay? The tower crumbles for a reason. So perhaps the job or whatever caused this disruption for you financially, there's something better coming in for you, okay? It allows you to make the situation stronger and you learn from your past mistakes. Perhaps you've made some bad investments, okay? Or just weren't feeling this job and so you weren't doing as good a job as you possibly could have and as a result, you ended up losing your job. But the tower, this disruption is coming in for a reason may very well be a blessing in disguise, guys, okay? Because 
the bottom card is victory and success, okay? So after your disruption, after that tower crumbles, you've got victory and success that wants to come in for you, Cancer. So just wait for it. Don't be afraid of that tower. All right, guys. And finally, let's close out your reading with an angel answer. So please clear out your mind of any negative thinking, any anxiety or fear. Try to clear your mind and focus on a particular question that you really need the answers to at this time from the angels. All right, Cancer? So angels, please bring forth an answer or answers from my Cancers at this time. And remember, guys, there's no time frame for this. Whenever you hear it or guided to watch this, it will resonate if it's meant to. What doesn't is not meant for you. All right, so clear your mind. Let's get you some answers to your questions. All right, well, I'm going to pull them. They're all face up. Okay, so the first one is take action. This could be pertaining to romance. This could be pertaining to career, school, job, any and all opportunities that you're thinking of partaking in. Okay, it's time. Take action. Don't procrastinate. Get going. Because look at the card after that. It's opportunity. Don't let those opportunities pass you by, Cancer. You've got a lot of opportunities coming in for you not only in relation to romance, but really in all areas, in all areas of your life. And the next card after that is let go, okay? And that's picking up off of the energy of your ex. It's time to let that individual go so that you can bring in your soulmate, okay? Once you let your ex go, once you let go of all negative things from the past, guys, you've got your soulmate wanting to come in for you, okay? And the bottom card is, there's no need to worry. All right? So release your worries, release your anxieties, release your fears. All right? Because all these good things want to come in for you. Um, those of you that have been worried about your romantic life, not finding the happiness that you're seeking, let go of that worry. Because now you know that your soulmate is on their way if they haven't arrived already. Okay, for those of you going through health issues, let those worries go, all right? I really do feel that things will improve in the future. Yes, very important to let the uh, energies of the X go, for sure. So, all right, Cancer, those are my messages from the angels for you guys at this time. Again, no time frame. Whenever you're meant to hear this is when you're meant to hear it. If it doesn't resonate, um, hopefully I'll have a video up soon in the future where those messages will be meant for you. Um, as always, guys, it is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So if you are interested in a personal private reading, please access the information down below this video. Uh, I'll be back in a few days, actually, uh, doing your romance reading for October. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Bye-bye.